Welcome to the installation tutorial of Sonoran CAD's brand new plugin framework. We will be installing the new framework that will power the plugins that interact with the API within Sonoran CAD. First, we'll want to open up the admin panel within the CAD, navigate to the advanced tab, and go to in game integration. Once we're in here, we'll want to open up the resource section. Now, click on Lua plugins. On the very left, we'll want to click framework installation. Click the hyperlink latest zip from our GitHub. This will take us to our releases on GitHub. Once we're there, we need to download the latest sonorncat.zip. Once it's downloaded, we're going to open it up and extract it to our resources folder within our 5M server directory. Now let's go to the next step of the documentation. It's going to have us configure and rename the configuration file. Let's navigate to the sonorncat resource within our 5M server directory. Once in the resources folder, we need to go into the square bracket, sonorncat square bracket folder. Once in there, open up the sonorncat folder. Once in there, you need to rename and remove the period change me from the title of the file. Once we do that, we can edit the configuration file. We're going to want to get the community ID and API key. Again, to find this information, you're going to want to go to your community menu. Once there, go to your admin panel, advanced tab, in-game integration, and then under the resources section, you'll find your community ID and API key. You want to copy and paste those into the respected variables. Below are going to have other options that we can edit. The next two we're not going to want to edit and just keep as default. The next option is server ID. This can be changed if you're going to be using more than one server on the CAD and have a different server to correspond to it. You can find the other server IDs in the admin panel under customization. We do support another server type such as ESX. You can enable this and change the server type to ESX. The next option is going to be primary identifier. This pertains to API IDs through the CAD. There's several options here from Steam to Discord to 5M license. The next couple options you'll want to just keep as default. Again, all these can be found on the documentation page with the explanations for each variable. Now that we've completed the renaming and configuration of the config file for the framework, we now need to head over to the server config to add the necessary resources to the server startup. You'll need to navigate to wherever you have your server.cfg and open it up. Once it's open, go to the documentation page and copy the three ensure lines and paste them under your query resources. Once you've done that, you have successfully installed the Snoring CAD framework. Do note that if you are not using ESX, you need to modify the FX manifest Lua and remove the lines that are specified. For this tutorial, we'll do that. This is going to be located in your resources folder within bracket Snoring CAD bracket folder and in the Snoring CAD folder within that. Open up the FX manifest.lua and remove the two MySQL lines from the file. The first one is going to be the dependency. Next one's going to be under service scripts. Remove them both. All right, we've already finished the installation of the Sonoran CAD framework. For a bonus, we'll install a plugin. We'll do the unit status one. Head over to the documentation and on the very left, go down to unit status. Do note that most plugins require you to have your API ID set in your account. To do this, head over to the Sonoran CAD, open up the side menu, go down to the settings, and input your API ID. You can have a, up to two here. Make sure that you click save and it'll notify you that you've successfully updated your API ID. Once you've done that, let's go back to the documentation. Once here, you'll need to click the here hyperlink to take you to the release on GitHub. On the releases page, you'll want to download the latest source.zip. Once it's downloaded, we'll want to open it up and navigate through the first folder. Once you're there, you need to go to your plugins folder within the Sonoran CAD framework. This is located in your Sonoran CAD folder within the square bracket Sonoran CAD square bracket folder within your resources folder of your server. We'll now want to drag and drop the unit status folder into your plugins folder. Once you've done that, you'll need to go to the standard plugin installation documentation. We've already completed the first two steps for you. We can move on to the third step. We want to navigate to the unit status folder within our plugins and rename the config file and remove the change me from the name of it. Let's go into our plugins folder and the unit status folder. Once we're in there, we can rename and remove the change me from the name. Once we do that, we can now edit the config. 
Once we're in there, we can review the various options. The first one we'll want to review is the set status command. This we can change to whatever we desire. Keep note of the status codes, since those correspond to in-game, you can change these if you would like. At the very bottom, we want to uncomment or remove the two dashes in front of the line. And that will register and enable the plugin within the framework. Once we do that, we can start our server and make sure the plugin is working. See you in game. We're now in game. Let's now test out the plugin, ensuring that it is installed and working correctly. As you can see, I'm typing in slash set status, since that's what is specified in the config. Let's go to the CAD and check my status. I'm currently marked as unavailable, but I want to change my status to something else. I'll do slash set status space available in game, and I'll change my status in the CAD. I've done the command, and now it's changed in the CAD. You can do these with other status codes such as busy, on scene, in route, etc. This concludes the tutorial on Sonoran CAD framework installation. Thank you.